I began at my school in ninth grade year and some of my classes needed to be switched. So I go to the principal's office and he's telling me, oh, this really great program. I think you're gonna be in it. Do you wanna be in it? And I was like, it sounds cool, I wanna be in it. So then I arrive to the classrooms and the teacher's explaining build and I'm just like, wow, like entrepreneurship? Ninth grade year, I wanted to be a CEO of a company and I wanted, because that's, that's the route I wanted to go in. So I really got to be a part of a lot of companies and I got to s plan out ideas and really follow through with them and go to investors pitch. And that's when I figured out, I was like, I love this and I love interacting with people. And I took Build Again second year and it was great as well. And I had, I had companies, we had Hairgenics, it was a group of girls and I, we build this product for curly hair. That in itself, that in itself was great because I never knew I had curly hair. Up until 10th grade year, that's when I started discovering it. So while Build was helping me discover an idea, I was also discovering myself. So that's when I was like, guys, this is such a great idea. Why don't we just incorporate our own personal struggles? And we did. And we built surveys and we sent them out and we really got everybody's perspective, which was great. We pitched and then COVID hit. We were still in build, but then 11th grade year, I didn't. I wasn't in build, but I really loved build. So I got an email one day over the summer. Oh, internship build. And I was like, wow. And I did it. And I met a lot of great people from across the nation. And that's where we started discussing how to make um, the curriculum in schools more culturally inclusive. And I was in awe. I, all these people had all these different ideas. And I was like, wow, if it hadn't been for Build, if it hadn't been for Build, I would have never met these people. The design challenge over the summer, it was from kids all around the nation. So there were kids from California, kids from Boston. And we were all in schools, in different schools. And I remember this one time, one of the girls was like, yeah, I got to participate in how my principal was elected to be a principal. And I was like, you had that much power? And then in other instances, yes, there were some students that didn't have as much power in their education. So we were like, how can we create a kind of universal curriculum where we would all benefit? We're all from different backgrounds. How would we benefit from this? And I was reading um, Zora Neale Hurston at the time, and I was like, have you guys seen this book? And they were like, no. I was like, you have to read it. You, how are you walking around not reading it? And then they were telling me about the things they learned in history class, and I was like, yeah, I didn't learn that. Maybe that should be in my education. And we just kind of discussed it and built an idea on how to make our education culturally inclusive and diverse.